वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न बेसिक ऑफ एक्शन स्क्रिप्ट व्हाट इज एक्शन स्क्रिप्ट एक्शन स्क्रिप्ट इज द स्क्रिप्टिंग लैंग्वेज फ्लैश यूजेस टू कंट्रोल इट्स मूवी एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट्स विथ दोस मूवीज if you want to do anything interactive in flash you will need to use an action script it allows you to execute different action in a movie depending on what a user does or on what frames of the movie is being played action script and javascript action script is similar to core java programming language you don't need to know javascript to use and learn action script however if you know javascript action script will be appear familiar difference between action script and javascript action script does not support browser specific object such as document window and anchor action script does not completely support all the javascript built in objects action script does not support some javascript syntax constructors such as statement labels in action script the eval action can perform only variable reference basic terminology of action script action are statements that instruct a hwf file to do something while it is playing boolean is the true or false value classes are data type that you can create to define a new type of object constants are elements that don't change example of constant is key dot tab that means a tab key on keyboard constructor are functions that you use to define the properties of methods of a class data type describe the kind of information of a variable or action script element can hold the action script data types are string number boolean object movie clip function null and undefined events are action that can occur while a swf file is playing example of it is user clicks on a button on click event events handlers are special action that manage event such as mouse down or load expression are any legal combination of action script symbols that represent a value function are blocks of reusable code that can be passed as a parameter and can return a value identifier as names used to indicate a variable property object function or a method instances are objects that belongs to a certain class instances names are unique names that let you target movie clip and button instances in scripts keywords are reserved words that have specific meaning example var where is used to declare a variable methods are functions associated with a class objects are collection of properties 
and methods. Operators are term that calculate a new value from one or more value. Example addition. Parameters are placeholders that let you pass values to the function. Properties are attribute that define an object. Example underscore visible is the property of movie clip. Target paths are hierarchical address of a movie clip instance names, variables and objects in a SWF file. Variables are identifiers that holds values of any data type. Topics covered under this tutorial Case sensitivity, dot syntax, slash syntax, curly braces, semicolons, parentheses, comments, keywords, and constants. Case sensitivity In case sensitive programming language, variable names that differ only in case are considered different from each other. Example Book and Capital Book. Look at these examples. Cat written in small letters and cat written in capital letters are different objects. In action script, a dot is used to indicate the properties or methods related to an object or a movie clip. It is also used to identify the target part to a movie clip, variable, function or an object. A dot syntax expression begins with the name of the object or a movie clip followed by a dot and ends with the element that you want to specify. Example ball movie clip dot underscore x shopping cart dot form dot submit equal to true ball movie clip dot play slash syntax slash syntax was used in flash 3 and 4 to indicate the target part of a movie clip or a variable this syntax is still supported by flash 7 but its use is not recommended and slash syntax is not supported in ActionScript 2.0. However, if you are creating content intended specifically Flash Player 4, you must use the slash syntax. Curly braces ActionScript event handlers, class definitions, and functions are grouped together into blocks with curly braces. You can put the opening braces on the same line as your declaration or on the next line. To make your code easier to read, it is a good idea to choose one format and use it repeatedly. Example Event handler on release and class. Comments. Using comments to add notes to script is highly recommended. Comments are useful for keeping track of what you intended and for passing information to other developers if you work in a collaborative environment or are providing samples. Even a simple script is easier to understand if you make notes as you create it. To indicate that a line or a portion of a line is a comment, precede the comment with two forward slash. To create a comment block, place slash star at beginning and put star slash at the end. Example Double slash I am a single line comment. Slash star I am a comment of more than one line. Star slash. Keywords. Action script reserves words for specific use within the language, so you can't use them as an identifier, such as variable, function, or label names. 
list of the keywords break case class continue default delete etc constants a constant is a property whose values never change for example the constant backspace enter quote return space and tab are properties of the key object and refer to a keyboard keys to test whether the user is pressing the enter key you could use the following statement if key dot get code equal to key dot enter then alert are you ready to play control movie clip dot go to and stop frame 5 what is a data type a data type describes the kind of information of a variable or action script element can hold there are two kinds of data type built into a flash primitive and reference the primitive data types are string numbers and boolean they have constant value therefore they can hold the actual value of element they represent the reference data type movie clip and object have reference value that can change and therefore contain references to actual value of the element. Data types in action script string, number, boolean, object, movie clip, null and undefined. String A string is a sequence of characters such as letters, numbers, and punctual marks. You enter strings in an action script statement by enclosing them in a single or double quotation mark. We can use addition operator to concat or join two strings. Example greetings equal to welcome plus variable name. Escape sequence characters. There are other characters that cannot be represented in action script expect by special escape sequence characters. Escape sequence characters are slash b, slash f, slash n, slash r, slash t, slash double quotation mark, slash single quotation mark, double slash, etc. They are used to insert backspace character, form fit character, line fit character, carrying written line character, Tap character, double quotation mark, single quotation mark, backslash. Number The number data type is double precision floating point number. You can manipulate numbers using arithmetic operators like additions, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulo, increment and decrement. You can also use methods of built-in math and number classes to manipulate numbers. Example math.sqrt of 100. The answer will be 10. Boolean. Boolean value is a one that is either true or false. Action script also converts Boolean value true and false to 1 and 0 when appropriate. Objects. An object is a collection of properties. Each property has name and value. The value of a property can be any flash data type, even the object data type. We can access objects property by dot operator. Movie clip. Movie clips are symbols that can play animation in a flash application. It is the only data type that refers to a graphics element. It allows us to control movie clip symbols using the methods of movie clip class. Example, my underscore mc dot start drag in bracket true semicolon parent underscore mc dot get url bracket http colon double slash www dot macromedia dot com slash support slash plus variable product and semicolon null 
the null data type has only value null. The null value can be used in variety of situations. The situations are to indicate that a variable has not yet received a value, to indicate that a variable no longer contains a value as the return value of a function, to indicate that no value was available to be written by a function, or as a parameter to a function to indicate that a parameter is being omitted. Undefined the undefined data types has one value undefined and it is used for a variable that hasn't been assigned a value while testing and debugging your programs you may discover the problems that seems to be related to the data type of the item in this case we may want to determine an items data type for that we should use type of operator. Syntax of it is trace in bracket type of in bracket variable name bracket close and semicolon. Example trace type of variable i. If i is a number the output panel will display number. Assigning data type to the element. Flash automatically assigns data type to the following kinds of languages element that is variable, parameter passed to the function, method or class, values written from a function or method, objects created as subclasses of existing class, automatic data typing. In Flash, you do not need to explicitly define an item as holding either a number, a string, or other data type. In ActionScript, ActionScript converts data types automatically when an expression requires it. Example, varx equal to 10. x is now number. Now we will assign a string to variable x. Let's say x equal to hello x is now string. Strict data typing. Action script 2.0 lets you explicitly declare the object type of a variable when you create it. This is called strict data typing. Example varx colon number equal to 10. Now x can only store a numeric value. Integer or real. Another example where str colon string equal to hello. Now str variable can only hold a string value. Casting objects. Action script 2.0 lets you cast one data type to another data type. The cast operator that Flash uses takes the form of a function call and is concurrent with explicit coercion. Syntax for it is type in bracket item. We should use it when we want the compiler to behave as if the data type of item is type. Now, what is a variable? A variable is a container that holds information. Value of a variable may be changed as SWF file plays. Variables can hold any type of data. It is good idea always to assign a variable with a known value the first time you define the variable. This is known as initializing variable. To test the value of a variable, use the trace action to send the value to the output panel. Naming a variable. A variable name must follow these rules. It must be an identifier. It cannot be keyword or an action script literature. 
it must be unique within its scope. Scoping and declaring variables. A variable scope refers to an area in which variable is known and can be referenced. Types of variable scope. Local variables are available within a function body in which they are declared. Timeline variables are available to any script on the timeline. Global variables and functions are visible to every timeline and scope in our document. Local variables. To declare local variables, use the where statement inside the body or of a function. A local variable is scoped to the block and it expires at the end of the block. A local variable not declared within a block expires at the end of its scripts. Example, function my function. In function variable i, i is the local variable of my function. Timeline variables. Timeline variables are available to any script on that timeline. To declare timeline variables, initialize them on any frame in the timeline. Be sure to initialize variable before trying to access inner script. Global variables. Global variables and functions are visible to every timeline and scope in your document. To create global variable with a global scope, use the underscore global identifier before the variable name. Do not use where, where equal to syntax. For example, where underscore global dot greetings equal to welcome, it will generate an error because we are not supposed to use where keyword. Underscore global dot greetings one equal to welcome is the correct way of declaring global variables. Now, what is a function? A function is a block of action script code that can be reused anywhere in SWF file. If you pass values as the parameter to a function, the function will operate on those values. And a function can also return value which is based on parameter or some procedure. Built-in function Flash has built-in functions that let you access certain information and perform certain tasks, such as getting the number of Flash player hosting the SWF file. The function is get version. Functions that belong to an object are called method. Functions that don't belong to an object are called top level functions and they are found in the function category of the action panel. Some functions requires you to pass certain value. If you pass more parameter then the function requires the extra parameter values will be ignored. If you don't pass a required parameter, the empty parameters are assigned undefined data type. It will result garbage value. User defined functions. We can define our own functions as we required in the action script. A function can be created by using function keyword followed by the function name. Syntax function function name in bracket argument list. We can pass n number of variable as the argument. There are two stages of using function. First declaration. Second invocation. Creating a function. First, 
function with no parameter. Here, the say hello function has no parameter and it displays hello on output panel. The function with parameter. Function welcome user takes one argument as a parameter that is username. Variable tax equal to welcome plus variable username and output panel will display the value of variable tax. Now third one function with returning value function cube x number and return x into x into x. This function will only take number as the argument and it will return cube of the number which is passed to the function. Calling user defined functions. We must use target path to call user defined functions. But if you have used global identifier to declare the function, you don't need to provide target paths because global functions are available in all frames in the timeline. Example underscore root dot greetings dot say hello. Say hello function belongs to movie clip greetings where x equal to sum 5 and 8 and sum is the global function. Now what is an operator? Operators are characters that specify how to combine, compare or modify the value of an expression. An expression is an statement that flash can evaluate and that returns a value. The elements that the operator performs are called operands. Example total equal to x plus y semicolon types of operators there are numeric operators comparison operators string operators logical operators bitwise operators equality operators assignment operators dot and array access operator now numeric operators addition multiplication division modulo subtraction increment and decrement are numeric operators the numeric operators have operand of type number comparison operator comparison operator compares the value of expression and return a boolean value that is true or false comparison operators are less than greater than less than or equal to and greater than or equal to string operator the plus operator has a special effect when it operates on string. It concates the two string operands. Example hello plus world. The output will be hello world. We can also use comparison operators on string. Logical operators. Logical operators compare boolean value that is true and false and return third boolean value. There are three logical operators logical and logical not logical or. 
bitwise operators. Bitwise operation evaluate each binary digit of the 32-bit integer individually to compute a new value. Bitwise operators are bitwise AND, bitwise OR, bitwise NOT, bitwise XOR, shift left, shift right, shift right zero fill. Equality operators. You can use equality operator to determine whether the value or identity of two operands are equal or not. Equality operators are double equal to, triple equal to means strict equality that is the value and the type of both operands must be same then it will return true value not equal to not double equal to that is strict inequality assignment operators you can use assignment operators to assign a value to a variable example name equal to x y z variable x equal to 10 we can also use short hand operator example x plus equal to 10 semicolon it means x equal to x plus 10 dot and array access operator you can use the dot operator and the array access operator to access built-in or custom action script object property including those of a movie clip example year dot month equal to June year dot month dot day equal to 9 rocket dot velocity rocket in square braces velocity the last two examples have same meaning but in first example we have used dot operator and in another example we have used array access operator checking a condition statements that checks whether a condition is true or false begin with the term if the term as if specifies alternative test to perform if previous conditions are false if you want to check for one of the several conditions you can use the switch statement examples if t1 dot text not equal to space then t1 dot text equal to space now when hwf file plays the flash will check whether a value of text box is space or not if it is then this code will be skipped otherwise the value of text box will be space another example if username equal to null and password equal to null then message dot text equal to enter username and password another example if username equal to null and password equal to null then message dot text equal to enter username and password as if username equal to null then message dot text equal to enter username 
else if password equal to null message dot text equal to enter password else go to and play slide movie switch the statement switch requires a variable the portion of a code will be executed according to the value of a variable example switch where color case red message dot text equal to red and break case blue message dot text equal to blue case green message dot text equal to green and break default message dot text equal to no color if value of a variable does not match with any case then the default case will be executed repeating an action action script can repeat an action a specified number of time or while a specific condition exists we can use the while do while for and for in actions to create loops examples i equal to 4 while variable i greater than 0 message dot text plus equal to space plus i and i minus minus same example using do while loop i equal to 4 do message dot text plus equal to space plus i and i minus minus while variable i greater than 0 while is an entry control loop and do while is an exit control loop same example using for loop for variable i equal to 4 i greater than 0 and i minus minus message dot text plus equal to space plus i the four statements contains three parts first initialization second checking condition and third increment or decrement now for in statement my object equal to name joe age 25 city san francisco for property name in my object message dot text plus equal to my object has the property plus property name plus with the value plus my object in square bracket property name i have downloaded macromedia flash 8 on my desktop you can download it from Adobe or Macromedia website. Here we go. Run Macromedia Flash Player 8. The setup is beginning. Now click on next. Read the license agreement carefully. Now I accept the terms in the license agreement. Click on next. Now we can select path of Macromedia Flash 8 in which it is being installed. We can change the path, but we are not changing the path right now. We 
can click on these options. But if we don't want to click on these options or we do not require these options, we can skip it. Then select next. Now it is asking for an installed Macromedia Flash Player. Then click on it. If you are using Windows 7 Ultimate, then you will face a problem. Then change color scheme to Windows 7 Basic. Then select Next. Click on Install. Here we go. The setup is installing Macromedia Flash 8 in our system. Now, if you want to read readme file, then click show the readme file. But we are not reading this file. Here installation completes. Now let's run Macromedia Flash Player 8. For that, go to start menu, select all programs, go to Macromedia Flash Player. Macromedia, go to Macromedia, select Macromedia Flash 8. Now, if you have trial key, then you can select first option or you can buy the trial key from the Micromedia, but we are using the trial version. So we will select I want to try Macromedia Flash. Here it is a 30 days trial. Click continue. And we are using Flash Professional 8. The Macromedia Flash 8 has been installed in our system successfully. For that, First of all, open the Macromedia Flash. To open Macromedia Flash, go to Start menu, select All Programs, go to Macromedia and open Macromedia Flash 8. We will continue as a trial, but if you have a product key, you can install it. But we are continuing as a trial. Click on continue. This is the main window of Macromedia Flash 8. This is a menu bar. This is a toolbar. This is a property panel. And this is a window panel. And it is action panel. Now let's make a basic flash document. You can create new flash document by clicking it or you can go to file menu and select new. Select flash document and click OK. This is a timeline panel. We can create frames here. The normal rate of frames is 12 frames per second. We can change this rate by going to the document property and we can change it here. Now to learn about action script let's have a basic example. For that we are creating a text box. We will change the text of text box when SWF file plays.
Select dynamic text property. Name the text box T1. Now let's write Excel script. For that we will select the frame 1 from timeline and right click on it. Go to action. Here we can write action script. Here there is a many functionality given by flash. Here there are controls of action script 1.0 and 2.0. We can add new item by clicking here. Here there is global functions, global properties, operators, statements, action script classes, compiler directives, constants, types, data components, components and screens. Now let's write basic action script. We will change contents of text box when SWF file plays. So write T1 the name of text box dot text text property of the text box equal to in double quotation mark hello. and semicolon now let's run the action script for that for creating SWF file press ctrl plus enter see the output we change the content of text box when SWF file is play Before learning action script, we should know the basic of flash so we can create a flash document. First of all, we will select a flash new document. Now, this is a timeline. This is a menu bar. This is a toolbar. This is a property panel. This is a window panel. Now, let's look at tools. If toolbar is not present here we can make it visible for that go to window menu and select tools the shortcut key of it is ctrl plus f2 now let's look at basic tools first of all let's look at line tool the shortcut of it is n it is used to draw a line Let's look at a text box. To draw a text box, we have to select text tool. The text box is used to write a text for display text or take an input from a user. There are three main types of text box, dynamic text, static text and input text. Oval tool. It is used to draw a circle or a oval. If you want to draw a circle then press shift key and draw a circle. Rectangular tool. It is used to draw a rectangle or square. To draw a rectangle click on mouse and drag the pointer. Similarly, if you want to draw a square, press shift key and repeat the same procedure. Pencil tool. Pencil is used to draw a line as we want. There are three options for a pencil tool. Straight, smooth and ink. If you select smooth, the flash will automatically adjust the line as we draw. Brush tool. If we want to draw a line of different shades and different widths, we can use the brush tool. The options are shown here.
eraser if we have made a mistake to draw a object we can erase it by the eraser now let us look at selection tool the selection tool selects an object while sub selection tool selects and a part of a object free transform tool we can rotate change or changing a center position using free transform tool now let's look at gradient transform tool first of all we have to select an object we can change the position of gradient of the objects now let's learn how to create an object first of all draw your image then select it via selection tool right click on it and click convert to symbol there are three options movie clip button and graphics your symbol will be appear in library panel you can edit or modify it by later on these were basic tools of macromedia flash which are useful in action script first of all we will create a new flash document then we will select the text tool and draw a text box select dynamic text give the name t1 now let's write the action script action script is written in action panel if action panel is not visible then you can go to window menu and select actions f9 is a shortcut key now let us write a basic script for variable i equal to 0 semicolon i less than 10 semicolon the code hint facility is giving the code hint we can enable or disable it by clicking here i plus plus t1 dot text plus equal to space plus i now our script is not arranged by clicking auto format the flash will arrange the script for us you can also check the syntax error by clicking here if you want to put a breakpoint in your script you can put it by here and set breakpoint now let us debug the script for that go to control menu select debug movie the flash player is paused so that the breakpoints may be adjusted click continue to start the movie 
now we can have watch on properties variables etc we have three options step over step in and step out let's have watch on tax property of the t1 we can see that the value is changing while the script is executing this will give the basic idea that how to write and debug action script in macromedia flash 8 in this tutorial we will learn how to handle events in action script for that we will create a new flash document Now, I am making a button. For that, select rectangular tool, draw a square, select text tool, write A, I am making another rectangle I am creating a text box here Name it T1. Now, to create symbols, select the area first, right click on it and select convert to symbol. And select type button. Here, our button is in action panel. Now, let's create another button. Convert to symbol. Name B. OK. Now, there are two buttons in library panel. Now, let's write event. For that, right click on button and select action. Now I am writing simple action on the button on release. T1 dot text equal to button A is press. Now, I am writing event for button B. On roll over T1 dot text equal to Cursor is on button B. Now let's run the script. For that press Ctrl and Enter. Cursor is on button B. Now 
I am pressing button A. Button A is pressed. Now I am moving my cursor to button B. So this will give basic idea of events. First of all, we will create new flash document. Now I will create a text box using text tool. Create larger text box. Select dynamic text and give the name T1. Now we will write action script. For that select frame 1, right click on it, go to action. Now let us look if statement. If t1 dot text double equal to empty string then t1 dot text equal to hello let us run the script for that press ctrl and enter look Hello is displayed. Now let us look if else statement. I have written in else part that t1 dot text equal to blank now in the text box i am writing a b c d so text box is not empty now let us run the script press ctrl and enter look the text box is empty so else part is executed now let us look at loops First of all, we will look while loop. First of all, write where i number equal to 4. Now write while i greater than 0 t1 dot text plus equal to space plus value of i let us run the script The script goes in infinite loop because we forgot to decrement i. So we will abort the script. Now let us correct the script with i minus minus. Now let us run the script. Press ctrl enter. 4, 3, 2 and 1. Now. I am writing same code using for loop for variable i equal to 4 i greater than 0 i minus minus and t1 dot text plus equal to space plus variable i press ctrl enter now let us look at for in statement i am creating an object with two properties now let us print this value using for in statement 
for property in my object let us run the script for that press control enter this gives the basic idea of control structure in action script creating sound controls you can use the built-in sound class to control sounds in SWF file. To use the method of sound class, first of all, you must create a sound class object. Then you can use the attach sound method to insert a sound from the library into a SWF file while it is running. Steps for attaching sound. Select file. Go to import to import a sound. Select your favorite song. Select the sound in library. Right click and select linkages. Select the export for an action script and export in first frame. Then give it the identifier a underscore thousand underscore ways. Add a button to a stage and name it play button. Add a button to a stage and name it stop button. Add a movie clip to the stage and name it speaker. Select frame 1 in the main timeline and select windows. Go to development panels, select actions and add the following chord to the action panel. Speaker dot stop. Song equal to new sound. Song dot on sound complete equal to function opening curly braces speaker dot stop closing curly braces semicolon song dot attach sound in double inverted comma a thousand ways play button dot on release equal to function song dot start and speaker dot play closing curly braces and semicolon stop button dot on release equal to function opening curly braces song dot stop and speakers dot stop closing curly braces first of all this code stops the speaker movie clip then it creates a new sound object and attach the sound whose linkages identifier is a thousand ways next it defines an on sound complete handler for the song object which stops the speaker movie clip once the sound has finished. Lastly, on the release handler associated with the play button and stop button object start and stop the sound using sound.start and sound.stop methods and also play and stop the speaker movie clip. Select control and go to test movie to hear the sound. The output will be as shown in the screen. Thank you. First of all, create new flash document. Now to display a time, we will create a text box. Name it clock. Now let us write action script for displaying time. Go to action panel of frame 1. Now we will store system time in a variable. Write where keyword variable time equal to new date. The time will have a value of system time. Now we will create three more variables for our minute and second.
Now we will display our minute and second to text box. Let us run the script. For that, press Ctrl and Enter. We can see that the system time is displayed in SWF file, but it is not changing. For that, we will create second keyframe and in its action script, we will write go to and play frame 1. Select frame 2, select insert keyframe, in action panel right, go to and play frame 1, semicolon, press ctrl enter. Now we can see that the system time is changing second by second. This is a basic digital clock. You can use formatting as you want. 